Hello, YouTube. All right, now we have the. Uh, you've seen all those videos of me doing rebuilds. Now here's the setup. Here I have a Model M keyboard, an IBM Model M from the the 1988 one, and here's the 1992 Model M keyboard. My favorite keyboard of all time. If they've lasted this long, they'll last forever. And of course, uh, for this computer, I have this plain old Logitech mouse. One of the best mouse I've ever used. One of the best mice I've ever used. Tell you the truth, I love this thing. For the other computer, I have a Logitech TrackMan. TrackMan wheel, as they call it. Basically, it's I call it the rat. <laughs> I mean, look at it. Sorry for the jump cut there. I'm recording with my phone, and I got a telemarketing call. Derp. Anyway, uh, as I was saying, I have the track, I have the track ball, I have the thumb ball, <laughs> as I call it. It's got you use your thumb to navigate, which is really nice, and you use your fingers just to click and you get the middle button, all that stuff. They're both USB because I've had issues with PS2 mice in the past, and at, at least the conversion of them. Um, yes, this is an SSD just lying there doing absolutely nothing right now. <laughs> On the top of my main machine, I have this Microsoft webcam. It's a LifeCam HD. Microsoft makes excellent webcams. Even if you don't like Windows, I, st I would still suggest buying their webcams because they're made very well and they work perfectly fine with Linux. I have another webcam on the other computer, which is an older, it's a LifeCam 3000 something or other. <clears throat> but it works. I use this cam in Ubuntu. I use this cam in both Windows and Ubuntu. For the, for the secondary microphone on the main machine, I have a dinky little Apple microphone. I don't know if anyone's ever seen these before or could tell me what model these came with, but it's a classic microphone, and it actually sounds very good for being such a small little dinky hunk of crap. <laughs> this microphone used to be hooked up to something, but this thing is also a cheap pile of crap, so I'm not using it anymore. I do have a studio quality microphone lying around someplace, but I don't feel like getting that out. As far as the audio setup goes, I have some realistic Minimus 7Ws, which are just like the regular Minimus 7s, except that they are made of wood instead of metal. And hooked up to this receiver, the Sansui 350A. And I'm simply just using the auxiliary to amplify it into speakers. I would have brought my computer speakers, but they do not allow subwoofers here, unfortunately. Let's take a look at the computers themselves. If I can move my chair. Alright, here's my main machine. And there's the secondary machine. Let's have a look at the uh, secondary machine first. I've taken the graphics card out of it, and it's now just using integrated graphics. It starts up. And the only operating system installed on here is Ubuntu 10.10 release candidate at the moment. And it always gives me fail errors at the beginning for some reason. There it goes. Integrator graphics are good enough for Skype and TeamSpeak and IRC, so, yeah. As far as sound for that computer goes, it's hooked up to this Plantronics headset, which I use for Skype and the uh, TeamSpeak. One of the, be one of the best headsets I've ever owned. Plantronics makes excellent, excellent, excellent headsets. All right, let's log in. This is Cooler Master 2, as I call it. And a very, very vanilla install of Ubuntu is on here because I don't need much to run Skype, TeamSpeak, an internet browser, and XChat, and Dropbox. <laughs> this has a five. This has the 500 gigabyte PETA hard drive in it. It does not have the 250 gig SATA drive anymore because uh, I wasn't able to boot from anything but the SATA drive when I had it in there. So, yeah.
a little bit annoying. But as you can see, it's got the new Ubuntu fonts and everything. It looks excellent. Things tend to work just fine. Let's take a look at System Monitor. It's about to 10.10. It really has 2 gigs of RAM, but the integrated graphics are stealing 300, uh, 300 megabytes or so of it. Not too many processes are running. The secondary machine is the AMD, is the AMD build, the AMD Athlon X2. 6,000 plus. As far as resources go, barely any are being used. Though it is using quite a bit of RAM. This is running the 64-bit version simply because uh, I have a 64-bit processor and this is going to be upgraded to 4 gigabytes of RAM at some point, so it's worth leaving, it's worth just using 64-bit right off the bat. And I'm t I gotta tell you, I'm loving Ubuntu 10.10. It's behaving very well as compared to 10.04, which was also kind of crappy, in my opinion. 10.10 is gold. Uh, do I have cheese installed? Uh, I don't. Let's install it. Do that real quick. Now, cheese, I'll just prove to you that this webcam does happen to work. See, there's the light. And here I am filming you guys in the weird color. As you can see, it works. Close that up. And of course, that's the uh, uh, secondary machine. Now, this is a pretty cut and dry machine. I mean, there's not, not much to it. It's just the TeamSpeak, Skype, and, you know, it's a computer that I need to use specifically for voice. And let's move to the other machine. Alright, let's turn this baby on. Both drives work, as you can see. Beep. On my big old Hans G monitor, as opposed to the Chai Li China Fail monitor over there. This uses a gigabyte board. This gigabyte board's a little wonky, I have to say. I might replace it in the future. I'm not sure. But as you can see, let me move this out of the way on the memory test. I'm bolt boot dull booting Linux and Windows. Ubuntu is on the uh, third hard drive and Windows is on the first hard drive. So I'm able to run uh, two operating systems on two different drives, which is awesome. First, let's start with Windows because you know, that's the typical install on a machine like this. And it's what I use for uh, the stuff I use for Microsoft SQL, uh, Adobe Dreamweaver, and a few other things. Mostly for games, though, because Wine sucks. <laughs> In Linux, that is. Wine doesn't run a lot of DirectX stuff. The camera is flashing at me. Oh my god. Wine doesn't like a lot of games. All right, and Windows 7 runs beautifully on here on the four gigs of RAM and the Pentium dual core. See, that's fast, and there's my background still. Same old thing. KX drivers for the uh, Sound Blaster sound card. Oh, and uh, Tim from the Osco Tech Show, I saw your comment about having that sound card. That's a, sh that's a shame it died, man. That really is, because it's a damn good card. Sounds great. Uh, I have some Turtle Beach cards if you'd like me to send you one, because uh, unless you already have a sound card, unless you have sound cards lying around or something. Uh, and these are the antiviruses I use. I use Avast antivirus for basic uh, virus security, and I use Smart Defrag uh, for defragging because the built-in Windows defragger is garbage and doesn't really do anything. Smart Defrag does auto defrag, which does things on the fly without taxing your hardware, which is very nice. And of course, Komodo Firewall, one of the best firewalls you can download. All that is free. Free, free, free. Free as in you don't pay money. And yeah, it's a Windows install. <clears throat> now let's demonstrate how good this sound card is by opening up iTunes.
Or as I call it, I tons, because it weighs a freaking ton. I think one of the best songs to test that with is, Hi is uh, Haitian Divorce by Steely Dan. So as you can see, it sounds good. I have an awesome sound card going through an awesome receiver. Slow transistors in the receiver to make the sound nice and warm. Um, the Sound Blaster Live uses real capacitors, real filtering, and only one codec chip, so everything is very organic and awesome. And that's only half of it. So, although a lot of these new boards don't like playing with the legacy cards too much in Windows because the KX drivers don't really like it that much. But in Linux, the card works perfectly. Out of the box, no problems at all. So if you're looking to use older sound cards like some of the Turtle Beach ones, they will work, fr they will work fine in Linux. It's getting older cards like the Sound Blaster in Windows to work that's a little difficult. So that's the Windows install, you know. No, I'm not going to bother to show you all my crap because that's just a waste of time. I'm just showing you that it works. Let's go to Ubuntu. It's Ubuntu 1010, release candidate again. I had to uh, enable no mode set in the uh, in the in Grub in order to get this to boot properly. <laughs> Logging in. And there's my desktop. I love this background. I think that's excellent. Now, of course, I have Dropbox installed on Linux as well. There you go. All my applications are up there. Those are drivers for an EPC that you'll be seeing in a video sh soon. Got all my games, internet stuff. If you want to take a look at it, you might as well just pause the video to do that. I use Gnome also, I use Gnome also Extra to control uh, Pulse Audio. <laughs> how, how funny is that? I got Wine installed so I can install Mac Tracker and change the sounds. And I got my other hard drives. Although this... Although that system reserved is, uh, yeah, that's part of Windows. Let's take a look at system monitor. Barely using anything. Again, using 300, almost 400 megabytes of RAM out of 4 gigs. Using no swap at all. With barely anything running. System again is running 64 bit Ubuntu 1010. And it's got the Pentium dual core in it, which is awesome. The Pentium dual core is one of the best CPUs for your money you can get right now, like without a doubt. It's a good budget CPU if you're willing to pay. If you have a if you have a socket 775 Intel board, the Pentium dual core is one of the best cheap processors you can get. I mean, it, it, it's high quality, too. Intel processors are pretty hard to kill. Try killing a Pentium 4. Pentium 4s are rock solid. But Pentium Dual Core is probably not quite as rock solid, but it's still a damn good processor, and it's very zippy and fast for uh, such a cheap processor. $70. 70 United States dollars. Very awesome. And that's just a brief look at these computers. I didn't want to uh, waste your time too much. <laughs> but... There you have it. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Just showing you that these builds work and that it's doing quite well for me. So, uh, yeah. Uh, have a good one, everybody. Ciao.